Okay guys, so here's the type of basically all the burrs I use while I'm doing my wood carving, okay? This is basically it. This is my arsenal. I got a lot more than this, but I just want to show you guys what types I use. Okay, to start off, this is Cutsaw. Those are the, that's the brand that I use, okay? There's other types of burrs like this, other companies, but this is the one that I use. I use Cutsaw because I love their 1 8th uh, Extreme burrs. They're they're very aggressive and they last the longest for me. This is a cone shape, reverse cone shape burr, okay? My absolute 100% go to burr, as you can see, it's already in my flex shaft, is the Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr, okay? There's a link below in the descriptions to get to the Cutsaw site. Use the code CFUSION and save yourself 5%. But I suggest this burr, guys, it outlasts all the other burrs, in my opinion. This is the 1 8th. Anything that goes inside your Dremel or a rotary tool, smaller rotary tool, is basically the standard is a 1 8th that fits inside the collet. You can get other size smaller collets, but the standard is the 1 8th. Okay? So this is my favorite, the Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr, right there, already on my Dremel Flex Shaft. Here's some other Cutsaw bits. This is the cone shape. This is the, I don't know the names of these. I know the name of this. This is the Taper Burr. Okay, look how aggressive it is, guys. So be careful when you're using these. This is a less aggressive one. I haven't even used it. It's brand new. So if you guys go on the Cutsaw site and you're looking for less aggressive ones, you can get st styles like this in all shapes and forms, okay? Here's the same style that's already been used. But it lasts me a long time, guys. It really does, okay? So those are the Cutsaw bits. I'll be doing a cut with I'll be doing a cut with my flame burr just to show you guys how aggressive it is. These burrs here, these are aluminum cutting burrs, okay? When I use these burrs, I use these for hardwood, okay? Or if I'm cutting stone or antler. Okay, these are aggressive burrs, but they're smoother cutting. I don't like using these too much for soft wood because I don't know. I just don't feel they cut very good in soft wood. Okay? So these come in all different shapes and sizes too. This is what I use to do my beard hairs. I use this on edge. I cut like this on edge, okay? That's what I use to do my beard hairs and other fine small detail, kind of make, trying to make like animal hairs or whatever. But these come in all different shapes and sizes too. My favorite type of burr shape is the flame. So this is a flame shape too. Same as my um, Cutsaw, okay? The flame shape, the rounded one. It's a multi-purpose burr and it's basically always in my uh, flex shaft, okay? So, you guys get these burrs. Everything, all the burrs, the descriptions are going to be below to, to get to to get to this burr on. Uh, sorry, guys. Damn it on Amazon. Fuck. Okay, so you get these in sets of ten. I think they're like they go from fifteen to twenty dollars, guys. But don't be confused here, okay? Because there's a there's other sets like this. They come in the same packs. But they're metalworking burrs, okay? This is a flame metalworking burr. Lots of my friend carvers use these too for finishing. Phil, shout out to Phil Grope and Langley there. He likes using these ones for uh, finishing. So this one's not aggressive. This metalworking burr, and they're cheaper. These You can get these from like 12 to 20 bucks on uh, Amazon. But these burrs aren't as aggressive as the aluminum cutting burrs. The one on the right. Well, I'm tapping my finger. That's aluminum cutter. This one's a metalworking burr. Sh sorry, guys. I should have had brand new ones out so you could see. Okay? Both these burrs are good. And look how many burrs you get for $15 to $20. You get 10 burrs. Okay? So aluminum's the harder cutter. The metalworker's the softer, the softer, more for detailing. Okay? But I only use these on hardwoods, guys. Or bone or antler or whatever. Okay? This is a metalworking burr set too, guys. Okay? But this, these burrs are smaller. They're, I believe they're the metalworking burrs. Or they're mixed. But you can see the size difference, okay? These are great for when you're doing detailing, guys. Okay? The, the link to these, 
description below us. God damn it, I'm having a problem talking today. The description to these is listed below. Okay. So there, there's the burr types. that Those are the burrs that I use. You guys can use whatever you want to use. I'm just suggesting what I like to use. I'm showing you guys what I like to use. So then there's then you get to diamond burrs, okay? These are diamond cutting burrs. These are really for detailing, guys. Uh, just Carve Rob over at Just Carve Rob. You might want to check out his YouTube channel. He, uh, YouTube, Just Carve Rob. He likes using these diamond burrs, okay? So you can see, where's a, here's a diamond burr right here. And again, it's in the flame shape. It's that, it's that rounded shape. That's my go-to burr right there, guys. Sorry about my bloody fingers. Okay, so you get these sets. You can find them at your, I don't know, we have like um, Princess Auto here. You guys have, uh, what's that name of that store? I can't, um, Harbor Freight you guys have. You guys can get these for like 10 bucks. Look, look how many burrs you get, okay? These are disposable burrs, guys, when they wear out. There is stone that you can get to clean them, but, and also another thing too about these burrs, guys, they come, these diamond burrs come in different grits. So, but that's for really, see, two different colors, two different grits, I guess. I don't really pay too much attention to the grits because, well, it's just, then you're getting down to like crazy, crazy. This is the different type of grits, I believe is for jewelers. So, okay, so sanding. You guys can go to my playlist. You can see how I make these flap sanding discs. This is a Dremel bit. The metal part's Dremel. It's got a little flathead screwdriver in there, but look at my playlist. It just says flap sanding. And sh this is emery cloth. This is my go-to for sanding, guys. This one's worn out, okay? But don't use belt sander cloth, emery cloth, okay? Don't cut up your belts. That stuff's too thick. You have to get the stuff that's thinner and softer. And also, I bought a box off Amazon. I tested it out. I give it a rating of about 70%, but I do suggest it to the new carver. So you can look down below in the description below too. No, I'm not a salesman here, guys. I really don't give a shit. I'm just letting you know what works for me so I don't have to keep answering hundreds of emails about what tools I use. This is a bristle. Here's another shout out to Phil. He, he uh, showed me these. This is a bristle, bristle disc sander, okay? So you get these on Amazon. I don't know if I've got the code for that on my Amazon, but I'll try and put it on there. This come, these come in different grits, okay? And you get them in packs of like, uh, you get that set there, you get like six, seven different grits and like seven wheels, six wheels each set. But why I like these too, because these shafts here with the flathead screwdriver, when all these bristles, when you run out of this kind of sander, you can use this, this shaft for this, for your homemade flap sander, guys. I'm telling you this, I hate sanding. I can't stand it, but this is a game changer to me, this sucker, okay? So then we got the bigger, all these shafts are one eighth inch to fit my, my uh, what you can say Dremel or my uh, RTX guys, okay? Black and Decker. But then we got the bigger size Fordham. This is a quarter inch, guys. You know, you can see right here, these are all my Fordham bits. They're bigger than these smaller bits, okay? But we'll talk about these bits when we get the Fordham. But the Fordham, when you go to the quarter inch, you can basically get all shapes and sizes for the for the bigger bits too. Look, here's an aluminum cutter right here, okay? That's for the Fordham, quarter inch. Look, here's a metal working bit, okay? Cut saw, aluminum, metal working bit. You can get all the same sizes and shapes when you go up to the bigger Fordham too. This is for bulk removal when you're doing smaller carvings. Okay, so let's show how, let's start off with the cut saw and show how it cuts. Okay, guys, this is a piece of Western Red Cedar, okay? That's all I had around. Um, wow, it's actually a nice piece of wood. Well, I'm going to start off with my cut saw, Extreme Flame Burr, okay? Cut saw, Extreme Flame Burr, 1 8 in my uh, Dremel Flex Shaft, and I'm running, running it on the Black & Decker RTX, okay? So I just want to show you guys the cutting. Sorry for the if it's too loud for you. Okay. So there's that. 
And this one's getting a little bit old too. So there's that cut, okay? Now let's just do a couple seconds of feathering it out. So you got your cut, you wanna feather away your cut mark here. Okay, that's that. That's the, the Cutsaw 1 8 Extreme Flame Burr. See how fast it cut. Very aggressive burr, guys. Okay, so now what we're going to go to next is uh, another Cutsaw Burr here. Okay, so I got the Cutsaw Taper Burr on here now. Look how thin it is compared to the Flame Burr, okay? Flame. Cuts all taper burr. This is what I do to, to make deep cuts. I use this this burr. I make the deep cuts with this, then I feather them out with this. So let's get cutting. Sorry for the noise, guys. Okay, so there's that deep cut. Look how deep it went. Let me put my, um, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll show you what I used to, actually. Now I'm confusing myself. Let's just feather it out a bit with this same burr. Okay, so look how deep that went so fast, okay? So, but what I normally do is I put this extreme burr back on. Actually, I'm going to put this back on quickly to feather this out more. Okay, I got the flame burr back in there to do some feathering out right here. Okay, so now let's do this, let's use this, um, this cone burr to clean it up a, bit, a little bit, okay? So use the more aggressive to do all the cutting, then clean it up with the not aggressive burr, guys. Okay, less aggressive cone burr on there. Okay, now you can start to see the grain more. The more that you see the grain, the better it's cleaning up. Okay, so now let's go over to the flap sander that I that I make. I'll hook up a new one. Okay, so here's the flap sander that I make. You guys, this is the box of, I got off uh, Amazon. The descriptions, the link to get to this description below once again. So this stuff, let's. I just made it on my little flap wheel. I'm not going to clean this up that good, but I just want to show you guys how it works. If I can get to the right foot pedal. Okay, there you can see how good that good and fast. I'm not cleaning that up that good, guys, but there's a little bug hole in there. But whatever, you can see how good that works. This comes in all different sorts of grits. Okay, 150 grit, 240, 320, 400, 600 grit, good enough for me. Okay, so that's that. 
So now let's move on to the um, aluminum cutting burr. Okay, I got the aluminum cutting burr, a brand new one set in motion, and the flex shaft again on my RTX. Now let's just cut a quick line here, see how well it works. Brand new. See? Not that aggressive. Nowhere near compared to the cut saw. Extreme. But if this was hardwood, it would be aggressive. It doesn't work too well on softwood. Okay, so that's the aluminum cutter. So now let's switch over to the, to the metal cutting burr. Okay. Okay, like I said, these are more for um, cleaning up your, your cut marks. Okay, guys? So I'm going to show you a few examples. I'm going to do a cut with this to show how it cuts. Then I'm going to clean up this line. Then I'm going to go around and try and clean up this line quick too. Sorry, right, let's try and cut a straight a line with it. Okay. So you can see there it doesn't go very deep. There you go guys. There's the there's the uh, metal working burr. And see how deep it goes the aluminum cutter compared to the metal working burr this is the deep the cut saw taper burr they all make a difference guys okay so let's switch over to our uh, diamond diamond burrs okay so i got a flame shaped diamond burr here i don't like the ones with the pointy tips because it can uh well poke a hole in the wood i guess <laughs> but anyways so here's a diamond burr It basically cut just as well as the metal cutting burr. So, and these things work really good on hardwood, guys, for smaller projects for shaping. So now let's kind of feather this out. See, this is the time when you want to use this burr to go and clean up your, all your old cuts. See how nice and clean that made that? So that's the diamond burr. Okay, so now let's go to our little tiny detail burrs. Where are they? I'll find them. Okay, so here's the little tiny detailing burrs, metal working. I got a little, this is, this is a side cutter. So this is what I do little tiny beard hairs with and stuff like that, eyebrows, mustache. So I'm just gonna do a couple little cuts on this just to show you guys, okay? So there you go, there's that. Great little burrs to have, guys. Great little burrs to have. Okay, so let's run around with our flap sander quickly and just kind of clean it up just a little bit. You guys, this is a definitely game changer. Okay, actually, you know what? I've already used this enough. Let's switch over to our little 
bristle flap sander disc thing. Okay guys, I forgot to mention when you're running your um, flap sander thing, don't run it at high speed like I did because that's how it will blow apart real fast and you'll and you'll waste it and you'll need to replace the sanding discs. So also these these little bristle things, run these super slow guys because these things will fly off if you run it too fast, okay? Little bristles on there, they'll rip off and waste your money. So let's but this is way this is 400 grit I got on here, so I don't even know if it's going to work. This stuff's good for this little tiny stuff when you're going with the grain. It gets right in there. It's good for getting in deep cuts like this too. Don't run it too fast. Like I said, I should have 80 grit on here. This is 400, so but the 80 grit would work a lot faster. So there you guys go. Those are the burrs that I use for the um, quarter inch rotary tool. Hope it can help somebody out there. Hey guys, sorry, I forgot to mention this burr too. This is a roto zip wall tile cutter bit, 1 8. Okay. Roto zip, you can find this way in your like uh, big hardware stores like Home Depot. Franz Roto zip wall tile cutter, and I use this burr quite a bit for um, hardwoods and uh, cutting deep. And um, yeah, so let's just do a quick example here. Take it all the way down. So you guys can see this is a very aggressive bird to do some deep cutting. But be careful you don't when you take it all the way down like I did there, you don't get it stuck because that will break your flex shaft. Let's feather it out a bit. This is a great burr again for doing deep cuts, but it leaves it leaves marks. That's what I did right there. It leaves Mark soap, and these birds last forever too. Okay, guys, thanks.